Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between, um, this is going to be, I think, Tyler and David Kim, yes, the infamous um, David Kim on, from all the battle reports. This is the first replay that I'm watching that I have, do not know the results of, so this looks to be pretty interesting for me. I'll be watching it along with you for the first time. Um, you guys may have already seen this posted, it was up on teamliquid.net, um, the original replay, and also... Um, Chaos Smurf from StarCraft Legacy had also done an audio commentary on it, and I just wanted to see how, how it worked, and just w want to watch a game of high-level play for sure that and I didn't know the results. So here we are. We have a hatchery coming in from Davey. So Davey being a um, um, Zerg player right now, now scouting over here um, to the about the 8 o'clock position, spawning over here as the blue Zerg at the 7 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Tyler spawning as the red Protoss player over here at the 2 o'clock position, now uh, working in that pylon and getting in some additional um, probes as well, using that chrono boost in order to speed up his um, probe production. Um, as a look, I think on the TeamLiquid.net website, it, it says that this is Tyler's, I think, um, second game in the Platinum League, so he hasn't learned that much yet, so um, I'm assuming that David Kim is going to win. David Kim definitely has more experience. And right off the bat, after building that gateway, moving out with that probe, probe moving out and going to be doing some scouting, and a, a drone quickly comes out and comes back around. So we, a drone coming in for David Kim. David Kim now coming into that base, um, not check, um, tr trying to check for, um, for exactly what's being built right now, and now attacking that gateway just by spitting at it. Meanwhile, we have another probe coming out, and we have David Kim doing his typical hatchery. So he has hatchery before spawning pool. So what is that? A 13 hatch. I'm um, doing a 13 hatch to um, set up his um, his secondary um, secondary expansion right now. Probe now trying to fight back. Going to go ahead and turn on the that. Oh, very nice surround. Almost got a surround off, and almost took out that probe. Probe down to five hit points. And meanwhile, we have this um, drone trying to take down this pylon and doing a pretty good job so far. And right now, that um, pylon is already going to almost lose all of its shields. Um, relatively soon, but we're gonna have a zealot now, become, or a zealot, and um, could be coming out um, pretty soon. So yes, I do read my comments. It's a zealot, not a zealot. Um, so it's a zealot. Now we have this drone now trying to come back around. Pro or a zealot now trying to take down that one, um, one drone. And oh, poor drone comes back and now takes a, some a little bit more hits right now. Probe now trying to fight back against this hatchery as well. Um, the probe has full shield, so it's going to take a couple shots. Very nicely done by Tyler. Tyler now moving back away with that drone, so he is going to be able to save that drone. And now we have um, the single um, zealot now coming back in from that north hand position, perhaps to try to take down this hatchery. We'll see if we have a queen yet. No, no queen. Nothing from Davy. Um, oh, there is the spawning pool right now, so perhaps, let's see, do we have anything in the unit overlay um no drones drones probes right now so tw 21 probes versus 13 so wow um davy davy is definitely behind right now and now we have um a probe and a zealot now trying to come in perhaps trying to take down this hatchery things are not looking good for davy already so um zealot now trying to take down this hatchery hatchery down to 900 and 900 hit points and now we have some zerglings coming off so Zergly is going to go ahead and try to group together, get, trying to get a surround off. Probe in there to try to do its single attack as well. So let's see, looking at the numbers, uh, yeah, um, yeah, the probe and the probes and zealots do work pretty much in the same positioning. Um, a little bit um, of a little bit of lag right there now. Trying to get us around, trying to take down that one zealot. Zealot is now taken down, and one zealot being forced to run away at 44 hit points. Trying to run away down to 28, 24, 20, 16, and down it goes. So four zerglings now heading back out. So very nicely done. Um, Tyler going to set up one zealot on his ramp, and now probably use Chrono Boost to try to uh, build additional production units. Getting a robotics facility. So wow, hiding a cybernetics core off to that north hand side. And now um, we have the zerglings now trying to come up that ramp right now. So we're going to see if those the zerglings going to really be successful. No, losing one zergling to um to that zealot and now that zealot now trying to come back into that ramp another zealot going to be joining him so 25 probes and and a double gateway robotics facility robotics facility most likely be trying to get observers and maybe even colossi and is what zergling now running back around that map right now and we have this ex um, the hatchery over here at the natural expansion setting up very very nicely spine crawler now being put down to add some additional defense zergling's hiding off to the back right here and right now david and um, david kim still running off of a single um, extractor and now getting that roach warren that roach warren um, um, is i just love roaches right now roaches are just such a strong unit and i don't know what else i can possibly say about it it does a base 16 damage so base 16 damage 
that's as that's almost as much as a Reaper does in damage um, against a light unit. So, and the Roach also has two armor. I think that Roach is a little bit um, strong right now, just like the Reaper. And we'll see how this really plays out if the Roach is able to shoot uphill. That able to shoot uphill with that range. And well, just shooting, and now going to be trying to come to the back, almost getting a little bit of a surround right now. Trying to come back, and another roach going to be coming in. No zerglings, uh, trying to get a surround off. And now here's that single observer now heading back out. One, uh, one um, zealot getting taken down. Very nice micro from um, David Kim. David Kim doing a very good job. And now here comes those zerglings from that backhand side. Roach is trying to run back away. Very, very nice micro. And now here comes those zerglings from the back. Uh, going to take down another zealot. Wow, very uh, able to take down another zealot. No, where is it? Oh, not able to focus it down. There it goes. Trying to take down the rest of that um, army right there. And um, the Roach taking a lot of that uh, melee damage. What? 12 attack per round because of that two armor. So very, very nice armor compared to the, um, the Zealots. Um, what? And the Zealot takes 16 right now. We have a single observer up in the air for Tyler. Tyler keeping good track of ev of all of David Kim's bases right now. And all of David Kim's... Um, David Kim's tech. We are currently sitting at layer. So layer, um, right now. Let's click, let's click on a drone or roach to see how much it costs. Seventy-five, twenty-five. Wow, very nice. And um, not even that gas intensive. Um, so roaches, roach is also obviously a very, very nice option right now. Observer now coming in. No upgrades on those, um, on those improvement, improved movement speed. Or um, or what? Being able to regenerate very very quickly right now. Uh, right now we have four zerglings at the front door. D drones now moving back over, and now we have a queen sitting here trying to do inject um, larvae injection on that hatchery. We should have a queen over here as well. Where is the queen? We don't have a queen. No, I guess there's only one single queen coming in from David Kim. So a little bit surprised by it right right now. Tyler sitting only with um, ze or zealots right now, and now producing that colossi as I originally thought. And um, also over here to the north hand side, we have that Twilight Council. So um, charge being upgraded as well. Templar archives over here, robotics bay, and um, over here. So you can go ahead and take a look at all of these additional um additional upgrades. I'm not going to take all the time to read them right now. Uh, we, ha we have a, what is this? Um, the, we have an overseer. The overseer has the ability to detect um, cloaked units. And that is the ability of the overseer. Overseer also moves faster than the typical overlord. Overlord no longer has the ability to detect cloaked units, just as an FYI for you guys. And um, right now, here come here is still a large number of those um, zealots just sitting on that front door. But armies, uh, the army of Tyler sitting at 70 over 82, while Davy sitting at 44. So wow, um, David Kim sitting really um, much much smaller. Not as many drones, not as much of an economic advantage, but he is in fact my from multiple locations only d a dual hatchery right now i'm surprised that we haven't gone to tr a triple hatchery and oh we already getting some massing some mutilus so david kim massing some mutilus realizing that um, there are no um, anti-air units no stalkers at this point so he's going to be trying to come in with those mutilus mutilus going to be coming in perhaps trying to take down that single pylon or try to take down some pylons that are powering those gateways if he can oh no he's going to go straight for that mineral line and try to harass that mineral line and those mineral and those um, probes are just taking a lot of damage right now. Um, zealots and Colossi realize that they can't really do anything to, to try to protect protect that. So those uh, middleists are going to have free reign at this point, um, and just continuing to try to um, destroy this mineral line. And wow, probes down to 20. Here coming in over on the other side of the base, we have roaches sitting here along with Colossi. And zealots trying to continue to fight, They're trying to fight back even stronger, even stronger. And, Fights are going really, really badly for both players as and the armies um, are getting wasted away right now. That Colossi still has plenty of um, plenty of hit points on it and is now going to be trying to move into that main base right now. David Kim does not have enough minerals to really do anything. Mutal is now coming back from that northern side, trying to um, just finish off this rest. As long as he can burrow some of those um, drones, he should be fine as and, and save this, save this um, game as long as that layer does not get taken down and the other hatchery. Here, here those Mutalists trying to take down that Colossi, Colossi. One Colossi going to get taken down. Down goes one Colossi, another Colossi going to get taken down in just a second. And this one Mutalist trying to take down some of those additional units. And now, wow, six Mutalists, seven Mutalists in the air. Um, we are now going to be finishing off these Zealots, but the layer will be taken down. Down it goes. And now some broodlings to fight back against those zealots. So those zealots um, are are down right now. David Kim is going to be in fact be revealed. He does not have uh, 300 minerals in order to build another um, build another uh, hatchery. So no additional hatcheries mean that he's going to have um, some major problems. I'm going to go ahead and pause this replay as I think I'm going to be running out of time. So um, stay tuned for a very very short part two of this two part replay between Tyler and David Kim here on Lost Temple.